Hello everybody, what is happening? Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok Or Ragnarok So, if I remember rightly, last time we left off And it has been a while between recording sessions But we are about to return so home So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke Nope, that was worse Ugh. And I heard it when I said it I love the interplay All between right. the characters. Shall the scripted we? dialogue, it's really good. I hate coming home empty handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to. Now hang on, Will Yoten. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. I wondered where the door was there for a minute. I was like, eh, where am I going? No! Now here I am. directly from you are certain the giants would not counsel war I said that they were wise in my experience that goes with being peaceful oh little brother told you we needn't worry Atreus where have you been peeing hope you're all hungry I could eat Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. How does Mumia oh is this sausage? Uh sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the Seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. How fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> Coffee boy. More for me. Wondered if I was meant to do something there. That's it's a nice bit of interaction. You're really up for coming with us? <clears throat> I am. Whenever you're ready. Well. Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. Ah, I was meant to push a prompt there. Where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, 
and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfai, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. I don't know if I meant to do you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that intro sill seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh okay. Sindri. Appreciate it. I don't think I have any upgrade How materials. No. I can craft that, so I'm gonna. It's nice just to have the option. But I do like this one. Gonna make sure that I've built everything that I can. Right. That ought to hurt him. So what's the difference then? Yeah, why don't these ones change? So they're both pure defense, but this one has defense, vitality, and luck. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this thing. May it strike true. That'll do. Let's check arm up. I'll disinfect my tools. Not got enough of anything to upgrade that. Craft that. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? <laughs> it fits. I still like the might though. For me, it's just far too. Far too good. Has far too many benefits. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get on with. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. I'd like to get upgrade materials for the axe again, but you only get that from beating boss characters. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're ratted Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed ratted Hosker. The one you know as ratted Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, 
Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... With detail on his tail's now incredible. Now polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed a little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So... Ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. So we've got... That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. But this is where we're going just now. So we'll go there. Perhaps as we travel you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. I like Ratatoska. He's quite a good character, and the I'm detail on him is impeccable. We have a realm traveled using your temple. Raya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, the light elves came back. Seemed better now. Huh. Did they now? Uh oh. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. But that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye. Not exactly an easy fix for that. No. And if anybody would know, it'd be Kratos. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Bimble Winter hit Alphon hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. You get a vague view from here, which is pretty good. Sort of hidden landscape, but you're just not able to see it through the mist. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. What out here? Oh. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Like the brazier. Exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on as they can. One. I have to get. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it already. Round this way. Round this way. And then up. Mm -hmm. No? Surely. Because I don't think this can reach. Oh, tell you what though. Right, let's give it a bash and see. No, it definitely can't reach from there. See if we can find the third. <clears throat> All of this stuff. There's normally a lot of logic to it. We did that one already. Is there another one precariously? No. Maybe that's fine. Maybe it's up twice then. Ooh. 
Right, let's have a look. I hate leaving Narnia chests behind me, so I won't be. Um, we'll try and crack on and see if we can find... ...the third bit. There. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Right, I can see the second one here. I can even go down to it. But I still haven't seen the third one. Which is a little weird. Ah, there we go. Boom. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no near chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Very well. Can I get up oh, back up there? No, I can't. Right, okay. It's not that I like loot. I like being able to upgrade my abilities. I get stronger. Right. Nothing Freyr there. never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Okay, Tia. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. That is bizarre, seeing his eyes just shining out the dark like that. It's pretty creepy. It's a good sort of horror effect as well in a game that's predominantly action. There's a gap in the fence over there. Aha! So you see, when I was thinking it on that one, it's purple to show that it's not linking up with anything, but when you do it with that, it shows the path the blade will take. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. It's amazing. Nice colours as well. It's an incredible bit of design, that. Really, really good. It looks awesome. The whole game looks amazing, I mean, but the difference in blends of colour. Oh. So why did you stand beside it? Not the cleverest, your boy Kratos. Not the cleverest at all. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Very tenuous, by the sounds of things. Shield, actually. Now that I think about it, the shield that's on his arm. I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. It looks like the shield Captain America has in the first part of Avengers: Infinity War. When he, eh, sorry, in the last part of Avengers: Infinity War, when he's fighting Thanos' army before they they lose in Wakanda. Captain America has like two of those sort of shaped shields on his arm. I think that's quite cool. I don't know if it's meant to be a reference. Um, I know Easter eggs in games are a popular thing, but that is pretty cool. That's enough. Please, we don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Where are the 
ones who freed the life. Oh, what was that? Turn, turn into a frosty bomb. we're inside is there truly no other way not like they're giving us much of a choice so your father said i'm just naive i suppose no just an optimist old friend i mean i'm pretty sure tear could have done that himself as well see the scenes of war dark elves impaled by the light elves blades the last time in the first game <clears throat> so if you haven't played it this isn't a spoiler it's just a design thing artwork and environmental design but the last time we were in Alfheim the dark elves were winning and they were destroying the light by covering it in their dark sort of sticky hive material and the bodies everywhere were light elves that had been beaten by the, the dark elves and you could see a, a light elf getting killed right at the start when you first enter the area. And so it's an interesting flip that now the side that's winning the war is the light elves. Nor near chests. Am I meant to just throw my axe at that? Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think yeah. we have the right tools for this one. No, looks like it. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Over here we've got a mark in this arrow. A mark in this rock. None of our weapons do anything at the moment. I think I know what does. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim, and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Because it's the light elves that have won. That's a shame. Fine work, Atreus. 
shall we? So ideally, if the two halves, light and dark, were working in harmony, you would that would have opened the temple. But because the light elves are in ascendancy, what's a dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division. Yes, the elves weren't always split between light and dark. You know, this statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Ah. I think I see. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Oh. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Right. See his glowing eyes coming out of the dark out every time, it's quite spooky. Okay, okay, I don't see anything else I can interact with back there. Oh, it's the light! Ah. Okay. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. So, both Light and Dark looked identical, then the Light Elves decided to harness the power of souls. Got a chest of loot here, so we'll grab that now. So we'll be crafting materials probably. Yeah, right. And light above the door again. And there's also this here. So it's just tear drinking in the light. For everything else in this game that looks spectacular, those flowers look pretty flat, which is a bit sad, but again, considering how gorgeous the whole game looks. Hmm. Sometimes it's about finding the right angle then, is it? But I have to be close enough to hit it, okay. Time for a bit of trial and error. Hmm. What am I not seeing? It's usually something. There we go. It is just about finding the right angle. Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Not really my friends, mate. I've killed so many of them. So I think this is pretty linear so far. I've not Speaking noticed any branching elves, paths. Let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. All right. Okay. I totally mistimed that because I thought I was getting the other one. Oh, my God. 
You're welcome to try again. Oh. Need that stone now more than ever. Too busy experimenting with stuff in combat. Here, they came across on light bridges. Now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Shrine away. Not sure I trust Tear's tone. It's just something a bit sus. Just in case I need a quick way down later. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, light and dark. The dark elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There we go. What angle did I throw it from, though? Right There's underneath. There's more twilight stone up there. Yeah, I see it, kiddo, but it's getting the, the axe in position to hit because I can't hit it for there. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Very good. What became of Kavazir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor. Here we go. There's gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. Okay. Your turn now, my friend. Your turn. Executions are always brutal. At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The dark elves want the souls and the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. 
So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. And then we went and killed the Dark Elf King, I think. <laughs> Just for extra context. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Just not a start at the corner of my eye. But it's Oh, wait a minute, up a bit, up a bit. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes. How about no? No. Oh. Well, man, that was just fantastic. Those guys hit pretty hard. I don't think the game tracks your deaths as a sort of punishment. Should really fight them with the blades of chaos, shouldn't I? Yeah. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. There's a big man. Looming in the darkness again and sneaking up on me. Right, here we go. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Do feel free to try again. New combat mechanics that I'm not used to. I got lucky with that, the game was very generous with its timing. Just in case we need it. So it's up we go. Or down we go. Down. Because I see there's more of those. That's the wrong. Oh, I see. 
Another chest. Just getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves with so much control over the temple. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. Dark Elf King. Guess he's in the light now, too. So there's got to be a way to raise that. Wow. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing it though. <laughs> I got no idea. Honestly none. Unless I'm just meant to kind of hit from here. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I see, 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 I think. No, I don't. I don't. I thought. Right. I do see now. I see now. Ah! Maybe I'd be better swinging it that way first. Yeah, I am better swinging it that way first, but... My aim's not great, or my timing's not great, rather. By the time I've lined it up, it's moved away. Here we go. Ah, I see. The timing must be precise. I'm getting pretty good at this, dear. So are you. Right, now back. As only creators can. Hey Tia, hope you didn't get too bored waiting for us. It's better than sitting in a cell though, mate. To look up, don't I? Yeah, here we go. Here they come. Do what you must. Slidor, it's coming. Your turn now. Sorry, Tia, you were in my way though. Crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. Enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon you'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? <laughs> Very good, mate. Well, at 
least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. So there's one rune. This looks like up, yes. There's two runes. I want to know where all of these are first. So one, two. Is that number three? Yeah, it is. I thought I was sprinting there, I was trying for that attack there. I think that's it. Right. So, need to do this quick. It's one. Two. Oh, are you kidding me? I had no choice. Right, back, back. <coughs> Sorry guys. I normally mute the mic when I cough, but... This is going to have to be very quick, isn't it? It's literally going to have to be one. Two. Why must they insist on You would know better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm... hit that. See what I mean? It's one. Ah! It's one. Two. Three. Hey! Ah! Oh. 
Wait. One. Move too far. Right, wait. One. Two. Maybe it'd be better hitting that one first. The blade seems to have further to travel. Then hit that one. Yes. I think I get a health boost. No. That was only one out of three. Well. We got a boost from that, so that'll do. Right, let's go. More Twilight Stone. I could have used that against the enemies, I think. That might not be all of the enemies, though. Here we go! Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Frey not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths. Regardless of where they end. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay. Check that off and then I can get down there. Get out of my road, Atreus! <laughs> Listen, son. Circle just appeared there. Yeah, it did. That's not gonna work, is it? Wait a minute. What? Can I see a way to get into that? I think I need to break that. That looks right. Yeah. Think outside the box. time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Sparky Elf. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. And I am at the five minute warning, so thanks for joining me for this episode guys, I've had good fun 
exploring the temple so far. We'll be back to finish it off in the next episode and then see where Kratos' journey takes him from there. So thanks for joining me once again. Take care of yourselves, guys. And because of the time I'm recording this, I'm recording this on the 20th of December. So have yourselves a very nice festive period. And I hope if you're watching this after Christmas that you've had a great Christmas and New Year. But whenever I get this up, I hope you've had a lovely holiday. Take care and I will see you guys for another episode. This is Blizzard Raptor saying bye for now.